Hey, Board Game Maniacs, Maniac Rob here with the other two Maniacs, Maniac Shane, a.k.a. Shane, and Maniac Lance, a.k.a. Maggot Bear, which he's grown back again, that you can see from the last video. In any case, we're doing Retroactive again, and we are playing Hero Quest. Now, we are playing Quest 5, and it is Mallor's Maze, I think it's called? Mallor's Maze. Mallor's Maze. And Lance is going to run it again. He enjoys trying to mess with Shane and I for some strange reason. I don't know why. It's the only way you can win. Yeah, I'm thinking so, too. So... I'm assuming we're going to have to go into maze, but just to recap about all of the retroactive which we played so far for Hero Quest, we are again on Quest 5. We never took any casualties at all in any of the quests. We came very close in the first one when it was Lance and I, but it seemed like whenever Shane and I are together, we kind of just, team. yeah, we're, we're wiping through the campaign. Watch one of us get killed well, today. Yeah. Well, that, we got totally destroyed the first time, so we're, we're learning to play a little more cautious. Yeah, true. So... Anybody who's watching this, if you haven't seen any of the other retroactive videos for Hero Quest, just look in the search menu and you can find it. Please comment down below, hit the thumbs up, do some subscribe and share Board Game Maniacs to everybody who likes the retroactive series and any other videos that are on our channel. So let's stand by and go to Quest 5. Alrighty, Board Game Maniacs, this is our starting tile for the heroes. And nothing else is revealed yet, obviously. And it is Quest 5. Now, Lance, do you want to talk to us and tell us what the objective of Quest 5 is? Absolutely. Uh, long ago, a powerful wizard by the name of Melar created a talisman of lore, which would enhance the wearer's understanding of magic. It is rumored that Melar hid the talisman in an underground laboratory at the heart of his maze, fearing it might be stolen by the evil minions of Zargon. As you search for the talisman, beware of many traps and deadly monsters. Mm. So we have to find the talisman. And there's going to be traps, he warned us. Yes. Outside. Yep. So, and as always, if Lance finds that Shane and I are going through the mission pretty easy, he's going to add a little more difficulty. But again, not way too overpowered difficult. You yeah, want to just like throw in so much the stuff. Second gargoyle. Yeah. Like it's a thing. <laughs> right. It could be. So it's not. It's not with good. the chaos cards too as well, you could use them. But remember, you can actually no, you can't use the chaos cards unless it's stated in the mission that you can use them. Right. So I don't think you can even use chaos cards yet. So that is uh, the quest. What we have to do, you can see we, Lance has the board all, or all his allies set up, allies to him, villains to us. Yeah, I'll get Shane, so you just upgraded something off camera? Uh, I did. I From the, the winnings of the last uh, couple quests we've been on, I had a little bit of money on my Barbarian. So I decided to upgrade to the Battle Axe for him, which will now give him four attack dice. That is really good. I'm, I'm hoping that that'll make the difference between living or dying. I hope so. And we do have, uh, like... The heal potions times three because my yes, wizard has that. I've got three. I have two on the dwarf, and I've got some. I think the defense potion, strength potion, heroic brew. Like we've we've stacked up on potions. We didn't really use any last time. Yeah, and you still have your orc spain. I still have the orc spain artifact. Uh, you still have your wizard's cloak, your wizard's staff, and your spell ring, which you should probably assign to a spell so that you can cast it twice this quest. That's probably a good idea. And I think I already know what I'm going to assign it to is the genie. The genie. Because the genie helped us both the last two quests. It, it does a lot of damage and it's just line of sight. Yep, that's right. So that's what we're going to do then. And that is our upgrades. I didn't do any upgrade. I still have uh, 230 coins between my two characters, but I didn't upgrade anything. I'm keeping everything just like it is for now. I want to build up a bit more. Shane grabbed the axe, which I think is a really good idea because that's going to be very powerful. Next, I'll be saving up for the chain mail. I definitely think I'm going to avoid the plate mail because it slows you down. You only get one movement dice. But uh, the chain mail, I'm definitely going to try to get for both of these characters at some point. How much is the chain mail? 500 gold. Oh, I'm going to get it next if we get enough gold. Yeah, well, yeah, so we'll figure Except that out. Except for the wizard, because the wizard probably the wizard can't, can't wear, wear anything out of the store. <sighs> yeah. Oh, all right. Anyhow, on with the game. Let's see what happens. On with the show. So, Shane, we're going to keep the same order as the last two quests, because it seemed to be working for us very well. It does. I'm going to go with the barbarian first. I'm going to take my movement roll, and I got a whopping nine. So, I'm going to start off by just going right in front of this door and telling Zargon to open the door for me. 
Sargon, open the door. Open the door! That, that's it? Okay, I'll step outside the door. And then you can see, every time you step outside the door, if anybody has not watched any of the other retroactive series for uh, Hero Quest, you can see the entire length of the hall. So Lance would have to reveal everything that is there, except for if there's hidden traps, right, obviously. Yeah, doors. But doors, block walls, enemies after that. But you can only see like this slant here, you can't see down the hallway and you can't see that the hallway or that hallway. You actually have to go up there to be able to have the line of sight onto it. I'm gonna go up there, I think. So I've moved three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I'm gonna open this door. Whoa ha ha! Alright. Keep the big guy in front, he can take all the hits for everybody else. That's yeah. Plan. Th that's a good move because it's keeping our heroes moving forward. Right. I still might actually move in one, depending on what spawns in there, because I do have one space left. Uh, you can see the evil just burning through his ears. There's probably only one monster in there and he's thinking about throwing three or four just to mess with me. Probably. Are you trying to do that? Lance? No, Are you no, trying no. to do that? No, no, no. All right, we'll be back. It is the dwarf's turn. Go ahead, Shane, you roll the right, six. I got a six, so I'm gonna go three, four, five, and I'm gonna check out down this hallway. I don't want to get too far away from the group, but I also want That's to right. explore. Just give us options of what we want. Right. Now you can see here too, as well as where Shane opened this door with the Barbarian, there's only a chest in there. There's nothing else. Shane did a search for- I'm not sure why Lance took so long to For traps? Yeah, I know. And there was no traps, hidden traps in that room. So that room is considered safe for now. Right. For now. So now what I'm gonna do, I still have movement left, but I'm gonna stick on this corner and I'm gonna search for traps, because then I would get the search for this whole... Yes, that's right. Which Wait, is probably a really good idea. Traps? Yes. Oh, he's grabbing trap stuff. Uh, that's a wall. Oh wait, no, it's a trap. That's a trap. A there, there actually is proper trap it's tokens. Rock ball there's or whatever so it many is. in there. So there's a there's trap a down ball. that way, which yeah. is good. Is there actually one in here? Uh, there should be one in there, but the skull is. Full. We'll be back with other movement. On my turn, the elf moved, rolled enough and went out there. He searched for secret doors, there's nothing, and there was no traps. You can't search into the room that you stared at. And then the wizard rolled and he moved up to the door and he's waiting and see what the dwarf is doing. So we try to keep that order. And it is on to Zargon's turn. And you can see there's a mummy. I'm going to zoom in. Yeah, right there. There's a mummy all the way over there. I don't think the mummy has range. So. What is Zargon gonna do? Lancy? Lancy pants? Mommy's only moved four? Yep. We got lots of time to kill this guy. Oh, jeez, yeah. So that's it. Your turn is the Zargon's turn. Oh. All right, so now it's the Barbarian's turn. Yep. I've searched that room for traps already. So I think I'm going to approach the chest. I should probably roll to see what my movement is, but I'm sure it's two. Yeah, oh, you got way right. more. And then I'm going to search that chest. You search for treasure? Yes. Okay. Specifically the chest, or if there's any notations in the book to give me fat loot. I'm surprised there's no uh, trap associated with that chest. I searched the room for traps, so. Yeah. Usually when we are searching, Whenever there's a chest in a room, there's always a trap that's either on top of it or beside or, it. Or it's just empty. Yeah. Because <laughs> this game does that a lot. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Let's just tease you in there with a bunch of yeah. chests and then make them empty. That's what that is. It's not supposed to be a chest. Oh, what is it then? It's supposed to be this. A throne? Oh, well that makes a little more sense. Oh, well... But anyways, yes. Way to okay. go. I, I'm not going to move then. I will just search for treasure right by the door. Okay. Uh, uh, you know what? Okay. I'm going to move anyway. However, if a hero searches for a treasure, he will find Malar's key. Upon touching it, the key will disappear, and the oh. throne will slide sideways. Oh, okay. Oh, and a secret door. Revealing, uh, sideways, revealing a secret door. Nice. Fancy. Alrighty, that's, that's good. I can't move or anything anymore. But the key disappeared, though, so... But it prompted the secret door to open. Yeah, true. Nothing wrong with that. So again, Board Game Maniacs, we went through one full turn as usual. So I'm going to turn the camera off. And when something significant happens, such as when find the key and it's an over, I'll start recording more and more just to keep the videos down to a short time length and not like an hour. 
Shannon and I were talking off camera. What we plan on doing then, you can see there's more stuff out of here because uh, Shane revealed, or the Barbarian revealed the secret door and inside the door are three orcs and a desk and another door that you can see from this angle here. And the Barbarian, I mean the dwarf moved down up to that door, opened it and there's nothing else in that room. Now, there may be traps, I've kind of got that feeling. But as Shane and I planned off camera, is the elf is going to go down this way with the dwarf and the wizard's going to go over to the barbarian. So I still have to roll to see for movement of the elf and I get six. So I'm going to move six. All right, and I'm not going to do any searching for anything because don't. Well, we, we already, already did have. that. Yes, yeah, but you can take a shot with your crossbow. Oh, that's right. I can shoot All through right friendly. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to shoot and hit that mummy. Mummy! Shooting with my crossbow gives me three dice. And I get. Two skulls. Yeah, two skulls. It's not bad. Oh. One defense. One defense. So the mummy takes one, one hit. It's one damage, yes. And the mummies have. Two. How much left? Two by. Two. So we just have to remember that the mummy, way down the end there, get hit by one arrow. On to the villain's turn. The mummy moved up four, you can see there, and then he rearranged, Lance rearranged the orcs, and the one orc is in front of the barbarian is going to attack. So, do your worst. Not your best, you will three Ooh. hits. Oh boy. Oh, one, two, two three. three, nice. Yeah. Three defense, in your face, bam. <laughs> All right, so the dwarf moved on his turn and Lance there had twitchy fingers and put a smile just like that one. So Shane started moving with his dwarf and lo and behold, he fell into a trap. A pit trap. That's right, so he ends his turn exactly right there. But you know, that's only slowing the, down the victory. That's all it is. That's true. Yeah. Only slowing down the victory. So we are on to mine. Anything happens, I will come back. On my turn, the elf went down. He rolled enough to get in the door, he decided not to, and take a shot at the mummy, but he failed miserably, just shot above the mummy's head. No big deal. And then it was the wizard's turn. He moved into the room, and, you know, I get no luck with the wizard. The wizard did a search and got a wandering monster, so now you can see there's a zombie right there in front of the wizard. This is, like, I don't even know why I even bother searching with the wizard, because every time he gets something bad. The zombie gets to attack me too as well. So, go ahead, Lance. One. And the wizard's defense is three. You got no defense. I gotta roll that one again, because it's... That is very crooked. Yeah. So let me see that. And... Nothing. So... You're gonna take a look. Take one damage. Like, really? This wizard is not starting off very well. A lot has happened since our last turn. So, we killed the zombie and everything else in that room. Did search, got a potion of healing. Um, the barbarian went into that room and did a search and got a secret door. When I say that room, it's over here. And the dwarf is up there and he revealed that door and you can see there's one of the big gargoyles. And you wanted to put two in the game. I really can't get it up. I don't think there's supposed to be one there anyway. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit it. Mm. That's what I like to do. I like to hit things. Are you making it up, Lance? Look at his face, nope. he totally is. I'm zooming in. Nope. Look at me. Are you making it up, Lance? Nope. Look at them eyes. Alright, I'm gonna attack. Ah! Okay, go ahead, Jay. What is it? I'm attacking that gargoyle. I will probably miss and regret it later, but. Great. Oh, two I got hits. two skulls. Nice. So the gargoyle has to defend. Are you looking up the gargoyle's defense? He got five. Yeah. It says right here. Yes. He is it, has is it a real gargoyle? movement of six, attack dice four, defense five, body points three, and. Mine points is four. He takes some damage. He takes some damage. Is he real? Is he a statue? Because you may be supposed to say that kind of stuff. Yeah, like you, you... This chamber contains a gargoyle that appears to be paralyzed. The gargoyle... Yeah. Well, you didn't tell me that. I wouldn't have attacked it then. You, you have to read out all of the text. Like, you, you can't just put it up and not say anything. What do you do? Sure you can. 
I just All right, well then, can I take back my attack then? Because I wouldn't attack something that was paralyzed. Yeah. No. But you were supposed to you, read that. You're supposed to read it. That okay. it appears paralyzed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. You're fired. I am looking at a cheater right now. You'll see. Everybody else is seeing cheater. I'll show you cheater. Oh boy. I think he got something up his sleeve there. I think. Even so. though he's wearing short sleeve. Yeah. Maybe it's up his pant leg. Well, I, I will. Uh, I will just search then instead. The treasure search. Oh boy. Okay. So we're going to be uh, moseying Jules. along here. Oh, 50 gold. Jewel, 50 gold, nice. Very good. All right, board game maniacs, we are, uh, Lance kind of pulled the, the eyes over our wool because the gargoyle can delight, but there was a little side note into the book that he didn't have to read. And that was that the gargoyle cannot take any damage until he moves or attacks a hero. So my elf went in and he attacked and he got a good hit onto him, but it did no damage because he never moved or, or attacked the hero. But now after the, it's the bad guy's turn, Lance decides to enact the gargoyle and moved up behind the little poor dwarf and is attacking. So what's the gargoyle got? Three skulls. Oh, three right, skulls. I get four defense. That's right. And I got nothing. No. Nothing. So I take three hits. Ouch. That hurt. We got some uh, healing potions that we can use. I say we use the spells first because the spells rejuvenate in between quests. Yes, that's right. Yes, for sure. So yeah, the, the wizard can cast that on you if attack. you need it. So the gargoyles turn, and I think you are still able to move the skeletons now because yes. it is your turn. Yes. So you can move the skeletons if you want. No, you don't have to, they can stay there. Yeah, they can just chill. They're not gonna chill? No. So this is why I stayed there though, because at least only one of them can attack. Yeah, them. and even if you went in the room into the corner, two of them would at least been able to attack Three. you still. Well, yeah, two. Okay, the first skeleton. Well, only, well, only one of them, so. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. He's gonna attack the dwarf. All right. Why are you picking on the dwarf? Like, Is it there? because he's short? Oh, no, nothing. Nothing. Right. Raw. They don't have to roll for defense. Good. Okay, now the gargoyle. He's got to attack the oh, You already did the gargoyle. Uh, did I? Uh, yeah, you did. did oh, you? yeah. I just you hit me with three hits. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's my turn now, though. He moved. Yeah. The, right. He moved on his. his no, 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 no. He, your turn. Nice try. But look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. Like, he doesn't get a go at the beginning yeah. and the activation. That's right. Why not? So. We'll continue on here and keep a close eye on this guy right here because, you know, like, I question you, hey, question, question, question. Look, pitch your face, pitch your I know. He's just trying to make it hurt. He's making it very difficult, chain. I think I know why. Because we're probably very close to finding That's what, what I we think. need to find. I think it's in that chest. Yeah. I think it's in that chest. I think so, too, or because... way down this hallway we didn't come down and down uh, that one. So it's probably way over here, and we have no way of knowing. I think we're close with that chest, because he's trying to throw a lot more stuff at us. Yeah, and... he is getting a little upset. Yeah, he is. So I think that... Look at, look, at, look at the face. Look at the face! Anyhow, on with the maniac. On the Barbarian's turn, he rolled enough to move up right behind the gargoyle and he's attacking. So let's do it, Shane. All right, let's I got it. two. Two hits. Two hits. All right. Uh, uh, I got two defense. Oh. Three defense. Well, that kind of sucks a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, ha ha! Uh, okay, I'm gonna keep rolling this. So the dwarf's turn. Is uh, he going to hit the skeleton or is he going to hit the gargoyle? I think he's gonna start whittling away at skeleton, just because. Yeah, because you, you're in the room. I can't get it past it, so you might as well keep doing. It, and then the three right, of us can attack, attack the gargoyle. The gargoyle. Well, that's what I think as well. Yeah, that's so a good idea. I'll attack the skeleton with two skulls. No offense. No uh, offense. That's that skeleton, skeleton is, is toast bag of bones. Uh, I could move into that room, but then that would just let the skeleton. Yeah, you might as well just. I'm just keep gonna stay there like and that. be a meat shield. I think. Yeah, what's that spot on the movie 300 where it's like the. The narrow passage is at the Hell's Gate. I can't remember, but that's what you're doing. You're funneling them into, into like just a Murder small hallway. Yeah, yeah, that's right. To take them out, while the rest of us concentrate and beating this big guy I like right here. Zombicide too. You build up some barricades and funnel all the zombies down one way, and then just destroy them. Yeah, that's right. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to record the whole fight of this, but I will be back if we kill them or if he kills one of us. 
All right, so on my Elf's turn, he shot at the Gargoyle with the crossbow, and he got off three arrows into him. And you did defense of one, is that right, Lance? So the Gargoyle is down to one more hit point. Then it's on to the Wizard, and the Wizard moved up one, and he's going to attack him with a spell. And the spell he's going to do is a Ball of Flame. And the Ball of Flame, it says, this spell may be cast on any one monster enveloping it in a ball of fire. It will inflict two body points of damage. The monster then rolls two red dice. For each five or six rolled, the damage is reduced by one point. So for every five or six, it gets reduced. So it, he does still take one point, and that's enough to kill him. That's it, yeah. So that gargoyle is Tostola, because he gets burnt. No, I should have just do something. You did. You threw that gargoyle yeah. in the book. That's right. That's that's no, like. I think we're really close. Look at oh. no. No. Ah. So. All right. So I'm with the battle. I don't know what Lance is doing, but he seems to be tying up our heroes here in this room for sure. So uh, the he, barbarian did a search. He talked me into it. Uh, he must have gone. Yeah, I think so. And got a wandering monster, sort of zombie. There, zombies attacking the barbarian. Let's go. One hit. One hit. And one defense. Nice. So it does nothing. And since the barbarian did a search, the barbarian can attack on no, his he turn. Cannot. He can just move. Uh, yeah, but what, where am I going to go, really? Well, I'm yeah, fine. true. I'm fine. Just All right. Ahead. So then it's a dwarf's turn. So the dwarf uh, is just going to move up beside the skeleton out of the pit trap. And, uh, no, 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 not diagonal. Uh, how, how is there a trap beside a trap? Seriously? Or is that just you doing that? Took an arrow. You're evil. Uh, does it end my turn? Well, an arrow. Do, don't they? Well, uh, the pit traps do. Other traps do not. Okay. Well, All right. Then I'm gonna move the one over where um, I initially wanted. So you took your one damage or whatever. Yes. Yeah, so yes. And then I'm gonna go one over beside the skeleton. Just a quick question though about this, Lance. Is is there an actual another trap in the book, or did you do that to increase the difficulty? Oh, there's an actual trap in the book. So there's double traps in that room? Yeah. There might even be more. But that was a little bit of a stumble there. Oh, there is. Oh. I think you lied. I'd but, show the camera, but you're looking at No, no, no. So. But, but even still, though, like, even if you are increasing difficulty, you did say this at the beginning that you will do that if it seems like we're going through it easy, and it's fair to be able to do that. Yep. Or, well, well, I'm, I'm going to attack the skeleton. Nothing yet. I'm going to attack the skeleton. It's going to attack the skeleton, which is right there. I got one skull. One skull, and it's... One defense. Well, oh, that's, yeah, I tried. Yeah, skeleton's still surviving. That bag of bones is pretty tough. On the elf's turn, you can see he moved into this room and he shot and he managed to kill the skeleton that was causing a lot of problems. And then the wizard moved in and then the dwarf was down to only one hit point left. So he used his uh, water spell and uh, heal the dwarf up to four hit points. So now I've only got two wounds on the two dwarf, wounds. which is which is a lot better. Yeah, no, that's really good. So then after that, it, my turn is over and we're on to the bad guy. So the only thing that for Lance to do is attack the barbarian with that zombie. If he wants to. Of course I want to. <laughs> oh, you're attacking the barbarian. And... One, one hit. And two no. kills. Jeez, that was so close. Oh right. look, a bunch more coming. Oh yeah. Well, you can. You said you were gonna make it difficult, but you know, there's a well, point of being too difficult. But you know, he did. I have to say though, hats off to you, Lance, for giving us a little bit more trouble in that room than you know usual. And the part that the dwarf took more damage was them two traps right there, which is right in front of the door, both of them. So that wasn't good. So we're on to the barbarian's turn right now. On the dwarf's turn, he did the search for, you know, just the search to see what's in the chest. And what happened there, Lance? Well, that is uh, room C. And, uh, of course, he uh, searched the room without, without searching, for, searching traps for traps first, first <laughs> which turns out that the chest was a trap. So it says, the chest is filled with poisonous gas. It is a trap. If a hero searches for treasure before the trap is disarmed, he will lose two body points, which is a good thing that he just got healed because he would have been dead. Would have been dead. The chest also contains 144 gold coins. There is no other treasure in this room. Nice. So you got 144 gold coins 
that can help us for next time for sure. Very for true. the next crap uh, quest. You know, a smart person would have searched for trash yeah. first, but I'm a maniac. Uh, I, I don't did. For trash. Uh, I did ma uh, mention that about searching for trash. No, you mentioned it. I just ignored it. Yeah, because you are a maniac. That's you true. are a board game maniac, and you just go out and go crazy. Exactly. You could have said that too. You know. I, I could have. You know, but then. You're a reserved maniac, is that yeah, what you're saying? I'm a closet maniac. <laughs> closet maniac. <laughs> it's in there, it comes out once in a while. Alright, now the, the thing is, is uh, you did the search and all their treasures. And you know, they have to be, well not have to be, they should be like a secret door in here though, because we never searched for a secret door yet. We also still went down this alleyway. Yeah. And we could have went down further and down. Like literally those paths could be over there and there could be stuff yeah, over there. Yeah, what we're looking for. Is that could be, could be in, anywhere. In there, that's right, somewhere. Could anywhere. He could be adding a whole map. It you know, might have been in there, and he's just like, nope, you're too easy, I'm gonna put it over there now. Yeah, that sounds like a thing he'd do. Yeah. Uh, it, if it's not, I'd just give him an idea, and I'd take that back. Yeah, so, actually, because it's the main part of the adventure, I don't think you should be able to do that. If it is the angle in there, you can't change it, because that yeah. is like a main no, part. I, when I run the games, if anything, I kind of make them a little bit harder, if need be. But for the most part, I try to stick to the book and, and make it fair. Yeah, it was a little more difficult so far, for sure. And I keep saying for sure, but it was a little more difficult so far. And I don't know what we're going to do here, but it is on to my turn, I think. Well, isn't I still it? have a movement left on oh, the floor. Oh, yes, that's and right. I we're done in this room, so I'm out here. You're not going to search for a trap door? I couldn't search because I already did oh, that. Oh, yes, action. you did. So you're just going to leave that room? Yes. I'm just gonna stop right there. Oh, so I think I got an, uh, the idea of what your plan is. Is you're probably gonna come out and, and then go this explore way, explore down that way. Yes. Yeah. But I didn't want to go first because he's pretty weak right now. I want to let the barbarian maybe take the lead. Yeah, on true. A little bit of the quest. Um. So it is the elf's turn. Uh, the elf. I'm going to search for any hidden doors. No. No secret doors. Okay. So I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna oh, follow suit and move. That's all. And we'll be back when something exciting happens. Not that this isn't exciting, because it is. On the barbarian's turn, he moved up the hallway. He searched for a trap. And you can see there's two doors. In the same room. For one room. This is weird. And then another door, and then a zombie too as well. So you continuing on there, Shane? Yes, I still have two movement left. So I'm just going to move right here. And, and then I, I can't search that hallway for traps because there's a damn monster. In yeah, it. it's gonna have to be killed. And the barbarian's ahead, so because of that, you can't move it away for the elf for range. The elf, if I get enough movement. Oh, that's right. If I get enough movement on the dwarf, and then you enough movement on the elf, the elf might be able to take. Oh, uh, that's right. So let's roll on the dwarf. Let's see what happens. Oh, we got seven. Good. Seven. Now uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exactly seven. He nice. made it. So, so it you, is. You need seven, I believe, now to get to that corner. Six. Let's see. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. You're close, but no cigar. No. And then the wizard. Five. But I don't have to go up full five. I'm gonna stop before the trap, or yeah. is that five right there? Yeah, anyhow? five ended right there. Anyway. All right, good. So then now it is on to the bad guy's turn, the zombie. Go Zargon. Zargon the zombie. Go Zargon. Oh, Ooh, he made it just. And then he's going to attack. Bring it. One hit. One hit and one, one defense. defense. Nice. So we'll be back for more action. So this just happened. Um, we do see the reason why there's two doors now because luckily, Shane, you just went in the right door. Yes. And then you search for traps and there's a trap in front of the other door. That was a very sneaky, sneaky, sneaky way of doing it. And this was in the book, it wasn't in the imagination of this messed up individual right here. I could have right been here. sneakier and just switched it to the other door. Yeah, you could but have, did. but you didn't. Like, are well, you that's tired? just malicious. That's not oh, sneaky. Man. That's just being malicious. <laughs> yeah, true. That's just maliciousness. But anyhow, and that's where the the uh, barbarian is. We are on to the elf and the wizard's turn again. If something happens, I'll be back. If not, we're just going to keep continuing playing. Continuing on with the game, you can see we kind of... The barbarian is searched all the way down there, and there's no doors, no blockage, no nothing right there. And the wizard was falling behind the barbarian, just that backup. And then the elf 
it was his turn and he moved now it's a wizard's turn but before that you can see the dwarf is right here you know he went up and he stepped on the trap and took one point of damage and he didn't open that door he just left it just like all that. the way until we're all kind of there yeah because i think that is the the main room right there but it's got to be because there's nowhere else to go yeah uh, so i'm gonna roll for the wizard and i got seven, seven so yeah, just move Water back. Yep, yeah, like making yeah. the room. There we go. And we're going to continue on. It is on to the uh, Barbarian's turn. On the Dwarf's turn, he revealed the room after we made sure all the party is up close. And this room is full of a lot of monsters. Now, you can see there's two skeletons, two zombies, and two mummies. Now, was that everything in the book, or did you just add more for difficulty? No, everything in the book. Everything in the book, that looks like a major room there. The problem I'm having right now is I can move in with the dwarf and possibly kill something, but then nobody else can kill anything. No. And the, they'll just keep closing in, so we'll not be able to let anybody in. I think we need to backtrack. I'll keep the dwarf there, let him take that one hit through the door, but then backtrack back to here or something. Who's to say they're gonna follow you? Now, if they don't follow, they're pretty stupid. Although they are pretty stupid anyway. They're, they're dead, they have no brains. Their brains cease to function. I want to bring the dwarf back down here. Maybe your guys can back up a bit, put the barbarian there and come barbarian first because he does have the most body points. Yeah, it's kind of tough. Like it, it's narrowing everything down for, like there's not a lot of possibilities we can do there. Are we just going to go gung ho and go in or are we going we can't to try go to- in. That's what I'm trying to say. Place. I can go in right now but I can only go in one space and maybe kill one of these. Yeah, but then... But, but then nobody else can come no. in, and then these will just keep closing in and closing in, and we'll never get more than one person in. Yeah. It's very poorly designed. It's tough. We'll be back when we figure out what the heck we're gonna do here. We need to strategize. Yes, we have to think with our thinking caps. And Shane is wearing his thinking cap already. I am. And I'm wearing mine. Hi. A lot has happened! Uh, so Lance is making a little more difficulty. He did let a little secret in the bag and that is he had one more mummy to the mix. Naughty boy, naughty boy. So we did strategize about this. We all moved back and uh, one skeleton did manage to get killed. So everybody had their turn except for the wizard. And the wizard is behind the barbarian. and you can't really see from that angle right there. Really zoom in and kind of get a little closer shot. There you go. So what the wizard is gonna do is he's going to cast his spell called Courage onto the barbarian. That gives the barbarian two extra attack dice. And he has Courage left on him until there's no more monsters. So, line of sight of monsters that is so because of that that is what the wizard so he can't move he's not going to search because he's in a hallway just casting courage onto the barbarian to let the barbarian go nuts now he could also cast onto his elf but the elf would be one less dice for attack as what the barbarian would have so the barbarian have six the elf would have five and more dice is better so the barbarian is going to have the extra advantage of the two dice to attack He's gonna go into a rage. Yeah, he, he's just gonna lose his mind. Let's see what happens, shall we? After a horrendous battle, we did manage to clear the hallway, which is good. And on the barbarian's turn, he rolled enough to get into the room and he's doing a search. So, Lance, what happens there? Uh, this is room D. So, the first hero who searches for treasure will find the Talisman of Lore. The Talisman is a magical artifact its use is explained in the magic artifact card. Ah, so it's a talisman. Nice. Yeah, fancy. fancy. What does it do? It says, this magical medallion increases your mind points by one for as long as it is worn. Yay. That's good against chaos spells, I guess. Yeah. That actually, that is very good. Now, that that was the whole point of this mission was to find that. The talisman. So that means we completed this mission. You completed the mission. Wow. I went too easy on you. Now, I could have killed one of these. What I'm suggesting is we just, you know, sit in one room and just keep searching for treasure until we loot all of the available treasure and just kill the wandering monsters as they show up. But I that's I know. we went over this yeah, last time and it's yeah, supposed to be well, over. We can't change that. So 
that was uh, a little more difficult because you almost died twice. I did. The dwarf almost died twice. The, the barbarian only took two wounds, but the wizard is half dead as well. Yeah, he's half dead too as well. And I only added two things. Now, Sorry, three things. I well, added you two added, traps yeah, three traps and one extra money in that room. That's all I added. I've noticed that this is quest five, right? Yes. So because this is quest five, I did notice that the difficulty did go up a little bit on a this bit for then. sure. You didn't add as much as you said you did then, yeah. I, I obviously a couple of the traps were put there just to mess with my dwarf, but that's fine. Um, it was the one on the front of this door and probably the double one over there. I'm assuming. Nope, nope. No. These ones are everything is exactly how it was. Oh. As you see the map. There is a lot of traps. In the description, you mentioned traps. That's how I knew there yes. would be a lot of traps. As you can see on there, everything on the table, maybe except for two things, and the one extra monster, were not actually on that map. Yeah. I, I well, still think it was very well balanced. It wasn't super challenging, but it wasn't super easy. I, no, like... I think it worked really well. I think you added just enough. Yeah. Like, I could see, like, where you did, if you didn't add the rest of that, it may have been just a little bit easier. Not by much, but you did kind of find that balance for that. To me, I find you guys kill the monsters way too easy. That's because, why I try to add some. It's because we strategize. Yes. And we now have some upgraded gear as well, which exactly. definitely helps. I, I think See, the that, monsters don't get upgraded nothing. Well, they I, get the same amount of dice uh, as but, but they get extra monsters. I think the yes. book compensates for the fact that you are earning treasure throughout and you will be upgrading. Like we played one night out of a separate expansion book and it was incredibly hard because it assumed you played through the regular book first before you went to the expansion book and had extra stuff. Yeah, it's, again, it's, I'm really enjoying Lance, I have to say, you you running this. Not the chain, you didn't run it well, because you did, I but. You need a turn to run it too. Uh, we'll, we'll, see about that. I, I'm not really looking forward to running it, to be honest. I kind of like being one of the heroes. So, what? What? <laughs> I don't care. I'll run the whole thing. Yeah, it, hey, whatever. I, I don't mind at all, Lance, you're doing because you are doing a good job, I have to say. So, everybody who's watching this, when this video does come out, comment down below and let yeah, Lance we'll, we'll, know. No. Yeah, and, and if you want Rob to run one, Put that down there too. No. I, I think you yeah. should. I think you should. Well, we'll leave it up to the comments. If somebody yep. wants me to run it, then I will run it. But oh, until we'll if we don't right get now. any comments saying like, hey, besides the people that are in this room and right, your family good. and your friends and the same goes oh, for you too as well. So <laughs> yeah, the, the, your friends are in the in this room yep, they're here. and my friends are in this room. <laughs> they're right here. I call them, uh, you know. They don't have names, it's just Barbarian, Wizard, Dwarf, and Elf. Like, yeah. They're my friends. So, there you go, Bird Game Man. I hope you enjoyed this uh, Quest 5 from Hero... Hero Quest? I was going to say Hero something. I don't know, my brain Probably is fried right now. Yeah. Hero Escape, yeah, that's right. Completely different game. It is a very different game. So I hope you enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this game. I think out of all the quests that we did, I think this is the, the one that I had the most fun. I like them all. I, 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 just, I quite enjoyed playing this game. Yeah, and game. this game again was huge in the 80s and you know it's still kind of I'm, I'm getting contacts and emails saying about you know the game is a lot of fun they remember playing this when they were a kid and they loved watching this because it brings them back to their childhood yeah, very, memories very nostalgic. yeah for sure so until next time board game man next hope you enjoyed this like subscribe to our youtube channel and share this along with any other videos that you enjoy until next time until next time, what am I going to say? What am I going to say? Don't. 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 Be a maniac. What? Be a maniac. Till next time. Have fun playing HeroQuest. <laughs>